Hey guys, I'm Isaac and... I'm Chelsea. Welcome to day 10 of Avon. Let's dive right in. After God saved his people from slavery, he led them through the desert for a long, long, long time. Like a whole hour? Uh, let's try more like 40 years. That is a really long time. That has to be older than you, Isaac. Tried a lot older. It might even be older than some of your parents. Ask them and let us know what they said in the chat. Anyways, imagine how the Israelites felt. They were really hot. They were dirty. Yeah! And they were so hungry. So when God said, enough is enough, it's time for your new home, just imagine how excited they were. Yeah, but they were also scared because God told them to find the biggest city ever they have ever seen. Milwaukee! Nice day. The city was called Jericho. It had walls so high it looked like it reached up to the sky. God's people asked their new leader, Joshua, what they should do. Luckily, God had told Joshua exactly what the plan was. I have a feeling that this isn't going to be the plan that Joshua was expecting. You've got that right. This is what God said. March around the city's really high walls for seven days. And on the seventh day, march around the city seven times and then blow your trumpets. Um, like this? <laughs> you got it. <laughs> and you know what? As they did that, the walls began to shake and fell to the ground in pieces. Later in Joshua's life, when Joshua was really old, even older than Isaac, he reminded God's people of all God has done for them and that they need to stay strong. Yeah. Oh my gosh, I'm really not that old. When God seemed far away, Joshua and God's people began to hope and pray. All right, that's enough for today, everyone. We'll see you again tomorrow.